today is the 16th. I'm gonna run over my day a little bit, what I did so far. So this morning, I went and personal trained. I know you're gonna be like, well, the other vlog said you're done with that. That was my last Thursday afternoon, and that was my biggest class. I, know I did uh, Monday, Thursday nights, and then I do uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday mornings. So today was my last Thursday morning, and tomorrow will be my last day, period. I am done 100%, so I go in and just train like two clients tomorrow morning, and then I'm completely done. So, but now it is around 1.30. I'm going down to HQ today to work out. We're gonna hit some legs. It's not gonna be another shoulder day. I know most of the time that I've been filming, it's all been shoulders, so a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, what do you do, like shoulders every day? No, it's just when I have time to film, it happens to be a shoulder day. So, as you saw, I'm taking my pre and I'm gonna be sipping on that because it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to get to the gym and pre-workout hits me hard so I cannot take it until seriously I'm like in the parking lot uh, because if I take it beforehand like 30 minutes I'll be jumping up and down and getting all itchy and I hate that feeling so we're gonna go ahead and hit the gym it's gonna be a hard leg day let's go
not that seem like it. So I'm always a douchebag. Uh, I got to focus because I got to always look good. But I'm going to miss you, man. And don't put that in the video. I can't be sorry. some blueberry pancakes uh, so when I try to go of course uh, when I have carbs and stuff I try to go as low as possible on fats and so pancakes is one of my go-to meals and uh, I know the other times I've been having carbs I've been having like burger and fries tonight I'm gonna switch it up and have the pancakes so I want to mix here um, I don't know maybe three cups of batter uh, and uh, mix it on this thing and then cook it on the griddle just like Cooked pancakes, so nothing special here. I will add um, the syrup I'll be using is just like low or zero, I think it's zero or low um, fat or you, you know, zero fat uh, syrup that I'll be using for the syrup. And then we're going to try and then we're going to uh, try to cook up uh, what's it, pizzuki? Is that what it's called? Uh, it's like a cookie, it's like a pizza cookie that we're going to have some ice cream on. And so I'll show you all how to make that in a little bit. I just got off, I spent about 30 minutes on Facebook Live, so I just got off of there. Thank you everyone that's on Facebook Live asking me questions and stuff. I tried to get on there and kind of uh, answer as many questions as I could in about 30 minutes. Uh, just for it being the last time, more than likely that I'll be on Facebook Live in this apartment complex. It's kind of weird being the last Thursday uh, being in this apartment complex. Been here for, you know, a year and all my Facebook lives have been actually in this apartment. So thank you so much again, guys, for getting on there and ask questions. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on cooking the pancakes. And yes, who does not cook pancakes shirtless? I'm so not used to wearing glasses too. It's so awkward. I'm still like dizzy. Like I'm like Gainer's like so far away right now. He's like, I can't really even touch it because I'm just, just okay. It's like weird. It's like Daddy, make me some pancakes. He really wants these pancakes. I think I'm gonna get you to make the pizzukis or whatever on film. It might be Shelby's first time to be on film here. Oh gosh. I might get you to be the demonstrator of. Mizuki as far as cooking the oh boy cooking the cookies because getting the ice cream out is not hard <laughs> and I can do that so really you just don't want to cook the pizuki yeah, <laughs> so that's yeah. and it could be your first time uh huh and you don't want to I'm cook sure the pizuki the viewers everyone right. ask about you Wayne and everyone else on right. YouTube asks you know to see you so this is your perfect opportunity <laughs> that and you don't want to cook the pizuki be honest. <laughs> Don't lie to everyone. All right, so the pancakes are ready. 
I know it's huge. But you gotta think, okay, I've not had carbs since like Saturday. So it's been a long time today. It's Thursday. So gonna eat this, enjoy this. I do I did say it was fat free. Yes, the syrup is fat free, but it's sugar free also. So this is my favorite kind of uh, sugar free syrup. It's hungry jack. Uh, the macros are really good. I mean it only has like eight carbs uh, per serving and I think like 20 calories. And I'm gonna have that with the Diet Mountain Dew. You know, might as well throw it in there. No need to add more calories. So I'm gonna enjoy this. We're gonna watch something on TV and then we're gonna make the Pazookis and then uh, watch something on TV and then we're gonna start packing up the pots and pans. So finished up the pancakes just a little while ago, maybe about 30 minutes ago, ate all of them but one, and now we're going to make the, what is it? Um, a pazuki. A bazooki. Pazuki. Pazuki. So she's going to be, this is going to be her debut on this vlog, and she's going to show us how to make it. We've never done this before, but she found like a recipe online, like it's low fat, so we're trying to make this as low fat as possible. Um, so, as you saw, I scanned over the ingredients. Uh, the only thing that really has the most fat is that one stupid egg right there. I'm staring straight at it. It's got five grams, but oh well. Um, and I think that's about it because all the raisins and stuff, of course salt. Salt has nothing in it. Uh, but all the rest of them doesn't really have fats in it. So, what are we going to do first? So... First, we are going to take this applesauce, which we are using instead of butter. Um, take a quarter cup of that. And if you ever want to sub um, anything lower fat for butter in a recipe, applesauce is a great alternative. Um, and you just use half as much applesauce as you would butter. So the recipe called for half a cup of butter, so we're going to use a quarter cup of applesauce. Yeah, do what she said because when I made Rice Krispies with uh, applesauce instead of using <laughs> butter, I used way too much applesauce and it ruined the Rice Krispies. He doesn't follow directions well. It's not mine. And then we're going to use half a cup of sugar. Half a cup. We bought this sugar, seriously, probably four months ago and I've yet to open it. We never use sugar. Boy, that's more sugar than I've had in like two weeks. Like right said, there. We haven't even opened this. And we've had it. And we're two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That is a lot of vanilla. I know, that's why I'm going to dump this one. Oh gosh. <laughs> Since... Gainer, you want a cookie? What? I think he's wanting something. He's waiting, he's waiting for the pancakes now. He's wanting a pizookie. Don't you? <laughs> I have a dog treat. You want a dog treat? You want a dog treat? Okay, we'll get him a dog treat later. And I'm just going to it. It was making me make my YouTube debut, debut. Um, after a full day of work in a huge t-shirt, after I've been relaxing, so excuse this. Mm, my t-shirt, of course. Well, it's the most comfortable ones we have. Mm -hmm. If any girls watch this, they do the same thing, I promise. Yeah, except she wears them and then she sticks them back in my clean clothes. They're still and clean, then, I'd shower. Except my white ones, they have makeup on it. <laughs> my V-neck white t-shirts, anytime I get them out, I'm like, okay. That's true. This has makeup on them. And we're gonna add the fatty egg. Oh no. Sorry. There's nothing I can do about this. 
That you devil start too many egg. things, it'll start ruining the recipe. That devil egg. Sorry. I'm going to add in a cup of um, cake flour. To be honest, I don't know the, really the differences between cake flour and purpose um, flour. And the recipe says spelt flour, and I've never even heard of that. So. But it's got a cool swan on it. It must be better. Um, and then add half teaspoon of baking soda. We did not add the baking soda. We forgot about it. So in, oh, the, no. in the little drive-by of the ingredients. <laughs> and one third teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna take my best guess at because we don't have a third. That's my best guess. And whisk that up. And then the last thing is um, raisins. The recipe calls for chocolate chips. Should be a lot better than raisins. But we can't use that. Yeah, I looked everywhere in the store, and there's no such thing as fat free. Uh, what is it? Chocolate, Chocolate chips. chips. Yeah, yeah, just there are. You have to order them. It's one specific brand that has them, um, and you have to order it. Off. It cannot be real chocolate because oh. the darker you get, the less carbs you have, but the more fat you have. So it has to be like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what percent chocolate that would be if it was <laughs> fat free. Hey, you know what? I didn't it's chemical before. chocolate. Walden Farm syrup is still used. Yeah. Chemical syrup. I'm gonna add this in before I add the raisins. Grab it with the brown sugar. It's very important in chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. So calls for half a cup, and I'm gonna pour um, half of that in the batter and then pour the batter into the skillet and then top the cookie with the other half. So a quarter in the batter and a quarter on top. Add about half of those. That does not look like an awful lot of raisins. Should we add all the raisins instead? All of them? I think they were wrong. Look. Oh, yeah. yeah so she meant like the bag. No. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> well, not following the recipe at all anymore. That's okay. Okay. Then dump it onto this pan. Actually, the recipe that we're going off of is um, a Nutella stuffed pizuki. Which sounds a lot better than a raisin pizuki, so you're actually supposed to like pour half the batter in and then dump in melted Nutella and then dump more batter with chocolate chips, but that's okay. So what do you have the oven set on? Two, uh, 350? And she already uh, sprayed that, she already sprayed that pan to cast iron uh, skillet. Make sure I get all this batter out as much as I can. Make it Take a spoon to that. Oh, it doesn't really do a good job of it. Okay. So now we just stick it in the oven for how long? Well, I'm chopping it with my raisins. Oh. It's like almost double the raisins that it's going to take. That's it. Uh, but it goes in the oven for, um, it says 25 to 30 minutes if you want it gooey. Um, and about five minutes longer and also covered with aluminum foil if you want it um, more crispy. And I personally like gooey cookies. Do you agree? Hopefully you do. Yeah. <laughs> that's 
how I want to make it. More like gooey inside, but crispy outside. Well. That's hard to do, but We'll see that's how this like. goes, because we're substituting a lot of ingredients here, so I'm not sure. If you can get exactly what you want, beggars can't be choosers. So the packing begins with the dishes. So when we wait on the cookies, we're going to be packing up all of the pots and pans. This is the thing that we're not looking forward to the most, is like the dishes and pots and pans. Uh, because everything else I think will come together pretty quickly, except the supplement room. I have so much, so many supplements, that's gonna be hard to do because you know I use them on a daily basis. So I'm going to have to like pick and choose what I can live without for a few days uh, because, what, let's see, today's Thursday and i got to live without them for you know, four or five days if I pack them up. So I'm going to pack up as much as I can, the unopened products, and then all the stuff I use I'll just have to leave in my gym bag and just pull out when I need it. So the packing starts tonight. Raisin Hazuki is complete. We're gonna see, we're gonna cut into it. See what it looks like. Cut it like a pizza. <laughs> looks like it's done. Mm -hmm. It's a thick freaking cookie. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna, I guess, cut some of it and put it in a bowl and put some ice cream on top. All right, so the ice cream of choice that we have is a cookies and cream. Edie's ice cream, it's a half fat. So a serving, half a cup of this, is 110 calories, two and a half grams of fat, and 19 carbs. So this is probably my favorite ice cream when I'm dieting, or in general, as far as it tastes amazing. It tastes like real ice cream. It's not like the Arctic Zero and stuff. So we have the cookie in there. Put some ice cream on top of the warm cookie, and we're gonna pray that it's good. The chocolate chips, yes, would have been better in in the cookie, but to get zero fat, it was impossible, or to get you know very low fat, it was impossible because each one of them, just a tablespoon of chocolate chips was around eight grams of fat. I looked at all of them. So if you got just one tablespoon of those, and if we used anywhere close to how many we used of the raisins, we would have got like 30, 40 grams of fat easily. So that is a finished product. Looks delicious. We're gonna test it out and we'll let y'all know how it tastes. Okay, so we got done eating. Now we're about to head to bed. It is 11 o'clock, so time we got the best of us. We uh, packed up as much as we can. We're gonna have to wait on 
the glass stuff because we got to wait until we can get some uh, newspaper or something to wrap that up because we can't really wrap up all that glass without getting newspaper because we're scared it's going to shatter. Okay, so the review on the the Pazuki, Pazuka, Pazuka? I don't remember, but um, I would suggest um, doing like oatmeal with it. Uh, the raisin was good, but I think the if you're going to do, instead of like having chocolate chips, do like a chocolate chip cookie, I would suggest doing like an oatmeal. So the next time we do this, we're probably going to use, uh, try an oatmeal style cookie. It was good, but uh, it had two different flavors in it because the ice cream was cookies and cream and then that cookie with the raisin kind of the the I don't know two different flavors so it'd be better to actually have oatmeal um, or have it with chocolate chip but we're gonna head to bed so this is gonna include this vlog I know it's a pretty long vlog thank you so much if you're you're still watching thank you so much for watching this uh, uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and just keep up because I'm gonna be vlogging throughout this whole time because this is the last Thursday of us being in Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you guys so much and I will see you on the next one.